This is the first time that great crested flycatchers have attempted to nest in the backyard. As luck would have it, they actually have three nest boxes to choose from, two owl boxes and a woodpecker box. Here the male and the female, which interestingly always do their house hunting together, are sitting on a perch facing a screech owl nest box. I found that putting a perch six or eight feet in front of a nest box is a really a benefit to the birds, uh, whether it be owls or any other kind of birds. They like to have a staging area going back and forth to the nest box rather than flying directly to the nest box. I think it makes it safer. Here the female is taking a look inside the screech owl box and she gives it a quick look. And as a bonus catches a wasp on the way out. This is the second screech owl box and this box actually has the abandoned three eggs in it from the earlier nest attempt of the eastern screech owl. They're kind of interesting in the uh, seriousness that they take in their nest box uh, selection. They generally look around at the outside and go in and look around at the inside then look once more at the outside uh, from looking outside of the box. And she's kind of given this sort of the, the curve, the quick curve look. Now they've moved to the third nest box. This is a woodpecker box on a tree and you can see the squirrels have really chewed this box up. They didn't give this box much of a consideration because of the uh, obvious danger of squirrels getting to it. Now she's gone back to the original first uh, screech owl nest box which is smaller than the other owl nest box. And she's going to have to fill this box up uh, with material. And what's really uh, fun to watch here, you'll see over the next several minutes, that just much like a human does, she gives it an incredible once-over. And you can kind of see in, looking, uh, in the way she's looking at the box, she's imagining uh, what she's going to have to do to make this box uh, a suitable home. She's looking it over from every possible angle. You can really see the wheels working in her brain there. And, uh, and also notice that the male, I think, prefers this box because he's actually staged this box with a selection of bugs for her to eat while she's checking it out. She's really liking this box. She's going to go and look out the uh, entrance hole, looking around at the surroundings, probably looking at the approach areas and getting a sense of uh, potential danger areas and fly uh, li lines of flight that she'd take in and out of the box. And of course now she's looking straight back at the perch that's uh, set in front of the box, so that gives a, a sense of security that they have a staging area. I think she's really liking what she sees in this box. Give it to look over one more time.
And she's going to eat the juicy wasps that the male has left to uh, sort of uh, stage the uh, nest box. And I think that just helps seal the deal. Now we're going to go switch to the outside camera and see her looking around the uh, approach area one more time. She likes this box. This is a commitment because it's going to take uh, the next video will show that it takes four days to fill that box up with material and uh, to complete a nest. So it's a significant investment in making a nest within an empty box like this.